Hey guys, what's up? It's Reflex here, and today I'm bringing you guys second episode of Black Ops 2 map walkthroughs and tutorials. This one I'm gonna be going over Express Search and Destroy. Um, this map Search and is pretty destroy. good. It has some decent spots. Um, not too many lines of sights. There is a couple, but mostly just some nades and a couple just setups and all that stuff. Clear so, the objective. First off, we're gonna start off with my favorite pre-fire wall bang of the game, probably. So at the beginning of the round, what you want to do, this works for both sides, um, rush down this left side, always stun over this info desk, like that, and then that'll cut off anybody in that hallway, and all you gotta do is you gotta spray through this plywood wall. Works best if you have like an uh, AR with FMG, FMJ, I mean, or it works like with any gun really, but just shoot through that plywood wall, it's really easy to shoot through, it's really um, thin, so you, you can usually pick up a kill or two just from doing that alone. And even if you get a hit, couple hit markers, you can just pop around the corner, and they'll probably be one shot. So I always like to start out the round like that. Just do that pre-fire, stun that. Um, so moving on to nade spots and lines of sights for B-bomb. A um, couple different plant spots. What I like to do one time, or sometimes, is plant it on this side, be on this corner, anywhere on this side, really. And come over here once you plant it, and just sit in mid like this. You can either sit, like, right here. I, I like to sit back here behind this thing, or in front of it, just so you have your back covered and you won't really get flanked easily because nobody really comes down here. Anyway, sorry about that. The train came through and hit me, but... Um, so what I was saying is you could sit right here, and once you hear the bomb being planted, you can come up here and just... You can either stay in the bottom or you can come up here. Just cook your nade for about three seconds. There you go. Just like that took me a while and you should get it through that hole onto the bomb right here and kill anybody who's tried to def trying to defuse it so that's my first um, nade spot for B it's not too great but it works pretty much 99% of the time and you won't ever get uh, seen back there so another place plan on this corner of the bomb or on this side and run down here a lot of people don't know about this, including myself, until I was um, looking for spots earlier today for this map. Um, I didn't know you can go on this thing, so I was just thinking, sit down in here, um, just lay down, wait for bomb to be picked up, and you can always just go up here, get a grenade, or obviously it's really easy to just shoot them. So that's a really good spot. Not not too many people know about it, and also you can watch your left and right just pop up every couple seconds and just look like that. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty good spot. Not too many people go back there and look. So that's pretty much it around B. There's no really like actual good spots you can sit or uh, nade because it's so covered up and not really exposed. But moving on to A. Um, these trains about to come. Um, another good um, line of sight is right here in the middle. If you go up onto the, this train right here, and you can lay down right in this crack. And also, this works for offense and defense, but if you lay down right in this crack, you're pretty much protected both ways from um, this, and you got the wall right next to you. So you're not really visible. Um, and what you do, you can defend here if you're on defense. Just watch this side, and you can watch the balcony up top. Or if you're on offense, you can plant the bomb at A, or even at B, because what you do is you just wait here, pop up, pop up every couple of seconds, and just come over here. You can see the side of the bomb like that, so you can just check it every couple seconds or you could even plant it I'm pretty sure you can see it if you plant it on the far left side and you can even wall bang it if you really want to take a, li take a little risk and obviously you can plant an A-bomb and it's easy to check you just pop up and look at it so moving on um, nade spots and um, just lines of sides for A if you hop up onto the bomb and plant it like this it even works if you plant it on the side like this but I like planting it on top just because it's easier you come in here you sit wherever you want in the train um, doesn't matter where, you can just move around if you want, but I just sit, like, right behind this corner and just wait. And what you can do is, every couple seconds, or if you hear the bomb picked up, you just wall bang right through this, right in this crack, aim right at the A tag, and you will get hit markers, and you see them coming right through there, and you will kill the person, you see the bullets right there, you will kill the person on defusing it. So that's a really good wall bang. Um, it's pretty obvious, but not too many people do it. Um, so yeah, I like that spot. 
Another nade for A is if you plant the bomb far side like this, um, you can come over to this far side and actually what you want to do is it works for concussions or grenades but all you got to do is you hop up onto this I don't have any nades any right now but aim right above A a little bit to the left and it's right to the left of this second beam right here and aim about so your top crosshair is right on the, the edge and just chuck your stun and jump and it will land it'll hit off this thing and land right here so give that, give that nade a try um, for yourself and you'll see what I'm talking about so moving on I think that's Check pretty much timeline. it for nades and stuff we'll just do some setups now so actually I'm gonna wait for this round to end I'll come back when it's over All right, guys. Well, here's my um, offense setup. I know I'm on defense, but it's the same thing. Um, so right on, off the start on offense, what you want to do is rush plant B. So what you're going to do is you take two, actually three people, depending on what you want to do, and rush down this side. And one person person is going to rush um, through mid, get the mid cut off. So one person grab bomb, rush down here. Like I said earlier, always stun over here have someone pre-fire or if you want just the basic come around and shoot and have one person do that and then come over here and just watch and then the bomb carrier and some supporter will come up here plant the bomb really quick get it off as quick as you can the support player will just sit here watch that and anything in mid and then the last player will sit right here on this just head glitch this and watch mid cut off and also train so after you get that bomb planted pretty much set up all you gotta do make sure you watch your most um, populated um, cutoffs I guess you could say so have one person just watch this cutoff doesn't matter where have one person watch this and one person watch mid and that's only three people so your roamer he can just help out wherever he wants um, wherever they need help so that's my setup for B um, I recommend always just go in B I think it's easier um, if you're going to rush plant, obviously. So, moving on to A. What we like to do, usually on A, is one person um, with bomb will come over here. Everybody will go right side at first. Somebody, I like to do this usually, just stun over the building like that. It'll get anybody trying to rush through B and through that little alley back there. And then, bomb carrier will run through here along with his support. One person will run through there, and one person will run up here, usually with an AR, just to cover this and up there on that balcony. So, bomb carrier will run through here. Obviously, get the bomb down as quick as you can on this side of the bomb, preferably, because it's more covered. And right as you get the bomb planted, um, you can u go back in this train, use the spot that I showed you, or you can just sit wherever you want, just get a head glitch, or camp in a room or something, just... Don't let them defuse the bomb, obviously, and have your setup. Okay, so moving on to defensive setups. Um, this is pretty basic. Um, one person, usually an AR, will either go up here or somewhere around A and go right here, right behind this bomb, and just prone, or you know, just go up somewhere and just watch A bomb with an AR or SMG if you go up close. And then usually three teammates of mine will go to will go to B just because B's the mostly um, planted bomb on this map. So three people will go B. Um, one person will go from the spawn down to here. Obviously priest on this over the info building, and the other person will either run up here, like through here, and just get this cut off, and the other person will come also with this guy except one person will split off this way one person will split off this way and there you got your cutoffs and you got B covered just make sure you're, the most important part of the setup is getting your stun off this way and getting a kill coming this way also with either a nade or just shooting him because that's the most um, highest asset right there and once you have that down you pretty much got the bomb covered and you should be all good 
So I think that's about it for this map, guys. That's um, Express for you. There's not too many nades, I know that, in spots, but it is a pretty open map and um, pretty straightforward. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I will be putting out another one and hopefully some gameplays here soon. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you guys later.